Well, now to the indictments against two men suspected of destroying ancient rock formations at Lake Mead. The destruction was allegedly caught on camera by a witness. Kena Whitworth in Los Angeles with more. Good morning, Kena. Shade, good morning to you. So park officials say the damage to these federally protected rock formations is sadly permanent, and the men authorities believe are responsible could face up to 10 years in prison. This morning, officials identifying 37-year-old Wyatt Fain and 31-year-old Peyton Cosper as the two men who police say allegedly pushed the protected rock formations over a cliff's edge near a popular trailhead back in April. The pair charged with one count of injury and depredation of government property and one count of aiding and abetting. Stones throughout the park are known to be 140 million years old. U.S. Marshal for the District of Nevada, Gary Schofield, confirmed to ABC News that the viral video that outraged park goers and authorities alike helped them identify the vandals behind the incident. The attorney for Cosper telling ABC News that his client has pled not guilty and that there were no signs posted at the entrance prohibiting pushing rocks or that it was a federally protected site. Any land that's been designated as federal land, federal property, federal parks, federal recreation areas, all fall under federal law and any damage uh, or defacement you do in those parks or recreation areas is against federal law. Now we also reached out to Fane's lawyer as well and have not heard back. A trial date has been set for October 8th. Guys. And that video just so alarming. Thank you, Kana. We appreciate it.